Welcome to the School of Bitcoin faculty meeting. We've got a lot of stuff to get through today, and I think we've got a fair few people joining us. Um, had a really good meeting yesterday with um, Brett from um, Gamma. So he runs, he's it's so weird, such a such a small world. So he like lives not far from me at all. And he knows like the whole Stacks community and <laughs> has been doing all this cool stuff. And the really weird thing is he's had a quite a similar journey to myself. So he's been a teacher for the last however many years. Um, start of this year, he was teaching year five and he's kind of left to work on stacks specifically, um, mm -hmm. like through uh, building NFTs and all that sort of thing. It's, it's a, quite a cool little, um, little dap that they've built out on there. So I think there's a lot of crossover with what we're doing, but the main uh, thing I was really excited about was a bunch of stuff, but the main thing was um, the NFT component and potentially us using that for authentication, um, like we we've always kind of said for the school of Bitcoin. Um, and he reckons there's plenty of people that can help us build that out. So it was a really good contact to have. And um, yeah, he's got he's got like uh, two kids that are about to jump into school as well. So. He's uh and and he was teaching his kids uh, cryptocurrency at his school, <laughs> unbeknownst to the rest of his school. And I was like, ah, oh, I like this guy. It's very very cool. <laughs> um, so yeah, he's uh, hopefully going to jump in this morning. If not, uh, today probably next week. And um, yeah, he's going to jump into the uh, meetups that we have as well. Hey, Trace. Hi. How you going? Sorry, <laughs> I just couldn't help myself. I got all excited when it was today, and I'm just thought I'm going to jump in anyway. So <laughs> I need to learn a lot. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah yeah all good um did you guys i was gonna say the raspberry pies have you guys had any uh any updates with them and your hardware at all yep so i've just been speaking to a guy that supplies all the schools in queensland here uh or like in regional queensland he's a computer guy um uh well, i just got off the chat with him so he's he can get us whatever we want for the right price um awesome jeff augustus so and, he, and he's like um keen to run an esports program um yeah so just had a really cool conversation so awesome awesome mess messaging him about that so he'll get us excellent prices is that who you were just talking to yeah yeah oh wicked. So he, he's a guy that um supplies all the infrastructure uh like you know ipads and everything that schools need in their technology he's just one of the suppliers but his real focus at the moment is to get the real basic core stuff because all the yep. schools are lacking they've got he was saying there's like two teachers two tech people for two thousand students wow. and in oh, yeah. companies right. it's, they, they have one person per two uh one person per 100 yep. so exactly. you know there's a massive lack of um assistance in schools to to oh, get yeah. any sort of tech happening so what you did in in warana park was pretty rare you know where you had oh, someone yeah so yeah <laughs> i think a lot of the staff at school kind of took it for granted as well because like most primary schools have nobody for any support so like the the tech that the department sends out um, i feel sorry for him now <laughs> so his his it's ba his hours are based on the amount of students and obviously they're students have just dwindled right down so his hours get taken away but basically the infrastructure is still there so that means he has like half a day a week to sort out every everyone's problem it's crazy absolutely crazy so there's no that's that's like across the board like most schools are like that it's like it's like this tack on like add-on thing that they thought that they still think is just like something that we kind of have to do it's like no that's the heart of your organization. It's the heart. I don't of understand what tech is and what it can do for kids. Or yeah, anyone. that's right. That's right. It's bizarre. It's bizarre that we're like, particularly after going through like the lockdowns and everything. And you know, we're all online, and the kids are all online. Like, why would you still not make that a priority after that? It makes no sense. So that's cool. What, what's his What's his company, Gordon? Uh I'll get it and I'll post it up in the chat as soon as I get it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, so uh, what was his name the, the, from Gamma? Uh, Brett. Yeah, Brett. So you've also got him on the, you gave him admins into the Discord to get that all organized. Yeah, sorry. So yeah, that was a super, super deal. Brett's experience in Discord. So he's cleaned up our Discord channel. Yes. Um, I think in the School of Bitcoin, I reckon there's a bunch of bots that came in there. They're all named Alice and 
Wendy and all these sorts of things. <laughs> I think I think they're all a bunch of bots that have crawled in there. So it'd be good if we he can get um we need to get some sort of security. There's a security captiva going or something. Yeah, yeah. Um I I said sort I'd of send him an invite to that one as well. Yeah, he's uh he's a Discord gun, which is awesome. It's exactly fantastic. Right. Yeah, I know, so good. Um so yeah, hopefully you guys get to to meet him um soon if he doesn't join today. Um the other thing I was going to mention, oh well, yeah, the Australian Bitcoin industry body. I know you saw that email, Gordon. Um, I forwarded it to you. <laughs> but basically, I applied for the School of Bitcoin and Bitcoin Aggregated and Digital Playhouse to join um, the Bitcoin industry body and like paid and everything, sent it off, uh, as I was telling you guys last week. And I got this email back saying, <laughs> <laughs> you've got like stacks on your website we don't like stacks essentially so they like rejected me oh like, my okay. God. really that's crazy i know i was just like oh, I was saying, why I why why i don't understand this um another bitcoin enthusiast that i chat to on linkedin said oh i've heard bad things about stacks and i i don't know what they mean mm. on the on the tokenometrics it looks to be uh, from what I looked in initially, it looked to be fairly centralized mm. and it looked to be that, you know, a lot of the money went to the founders and mm-hmm. yeah, well, I don't, I don't know. I need to have a look at it again, but it looked like I saw some comparative board about it. Yeah. So right. there's some things people wouldn't like about it, but at the end of the day, it's still anchored to Bitcoin. It's still an application that's plugged well, into Bitcoin, yeah, creating that's where Bitcoin the transactions. Authentication's kind of happening, yeah. isn't it? That's, yeah. um, the maximalists my, I mean, don't like the token. <laughs> so a year it's only a year old i understand saxon and all of these projects have to start out centralized that's right they decentralized right so it started out at block stack oh, okay. so it became they they launched 2.0 and they're going to launch 2.1 now so yeah. it's a bit like nem started and then launched nem 2.0 i mean you know these things i guess software companies probably run out of money for one so is it is it possible to run anything actually on rather than using a stacks layer blockchain can, do they? Is it expected that things can run directly on the Bitcoin network? Yeah, well, that's the thing. So they they obviously push Lightning as a layer, layer two yeah. solution, which is I mean I'm all for and Liquid, oh, yeah. Yeah. but I don't understand just because it's got a token, um, and like the 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 other the other thing is like generating yield specifically in BTC with no KYC. Mm. Like you would think Bitcoin yeah. Maxi would get on board with that. I think they're just looking at it and and automatically rejecting it. And Because you know. it's not pure Bitcoin. Well, yeah, they've got two criteria. Oh, they've okay. got very, very strict criteria. Either you're, you see in that email, I'd have to pull it up. They've got really strict criteria as to, as to whether you can be a member or not. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, that was it. <laughs> I was like, okay, cool. But, I mean, yeah, it's, it's a bit really- short-sighted. Sorry, Karen? No reason whatsoever, just that it likes it. Yeah, yeah. Well, 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 the reasoning is it's not on the the base chain, but it's like, and it's got a token associated with it. So I think that's where Lightning sort of differs to that. Mm. But that being said, like they're building some really cool stuff and great tools that interact with the Bitcoin blockchain. So I think they're not seeing that. They're just going, oh, it's the same as Shibu Inu cancel like goodbye like they're not, <laughs> not looking into it sort well of there it. are others who are building um building out tokens that are for marketplaces that are collateralized to bitcoin and um yeah so um yeah i i think i'm encouraging bitcoin innovation as a, a alongside ethereum innovation yeah yeah me. well and that that's the thing like, all, was, our, all <laughs> our bitcoin worth more <laughs> well, the, well, there's, yeah, there's that side of it. And I think the, the like utilizing it as a, as a base chain for longevity as well. But, yeah. but like I was, I was saying to Brett yesterday, like he's of the same sort of mindset. Um, actually, we're going to do a podcast on it. And I think Chris is going to play devil's advocate, <laughs> which should okay. be fun. That'll be really interesting. Uh, he'll yeah. be good. He'll be good at doing yeah. that. Um, but kind of doing deep research into it and then, and then exploring like, you know, the, the pros and cons, I suppose. So that'll be interesting, but yeah, Brett was on the same mindset. We were sort of going through it and saying, you know, like if they did a bit of research into it, they'd probably like it. It's and, and advertising it, like, like we always say, like these other chains are sort of test nets that can be built out later on, on the BTC blockchain. Like, I don't see a problem with that. But I guess I guess there's so many people got burned like with ICOs and nonsense. 
that they're just going blanket nope <laughs> across the board so interesting yeah. anyway it is interesting um, and research is important and hey did you get you remember your fees you paid for membership refunded I did. I did immediately. They sent it back, which was cool. So, yeah, that's, that's a clear like, message too. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. That's <laughs> like, all right, cool, man. Um, but at least, yeah, at least they gave the money or the, the BGC back. Um, what else have so, we got? One, one thing that I thought was uh, I, I posted a clip there that's in the first, in the introduction to the Clarity Clan, Zan Dickoff. Oh. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's a great watch it talks mm -hmm. about bitcoin it talks about proof of work it talks about the importance of bitcoin and the byzantine uh fault tolerance and yeah it was sort of an interesting that that if the boys took the time to start to watch uh that would be someone yeah. someone i'd start with and zan i was having a look at his his company i'd heard him speak on a couple of things before in stacks an incredible guy um, yeah the guys adam adam from uh the community manager for Stacks, Adam Hun, he's introduced us to to Zan, so he'd be a great one to get on one of our future meetups. Oh, uh, sure. He's a pretty seriously technical guy and got a major business based out of Hong Kong, but that's a, a good good listen to all about yeah. proof, proof of um. That was a good playlist, Gordon. I I had to, I had to go through it, and it's yeah, really good information. I'll put that actually on our resources page. So yeah, it's it's proof of transport really explains it. Well, yeah. big time, big time. Thank you very much. Gordon. Yeah, it's awesome. I put a, put on um the resources under stacks, uh, score Bitcoin. I'll put that playlist in specifically because I thought it was, was excellent to go through. Um, we've got the new website as well, so BTC MA. Mm -hmm. So for the uh, meetups Australia, uh, bought a dot org, so we don't have to just use that long URL anymore. And I've got all the zoom and everything sorted so just direct everyone to that and we all just click on the zoom so once a month we'll, we'll do that so have we have we got the um uh digital playhouse foundation youtube channel working with zoom now and no we'll hop on, we'll, we'll hop on and do a, a test run mm. with that yeah we should like, we should it was, a bit it was going before I was... and we're still having issues with um google support for our google for non-profits activation is affecting what's covered and what's not. Sorry to sidetrack here, but I'm having a lot of trouble with Google support and I can't ring them. Um, I'm thinking of saving down everything that we have and reapplying. Um, oh, okay. Under, rather than, because we need to move our primary domain to .org.au, everything's .com.au and I'm getting like, you, you're in trouble, disapproved emails because you're running um, Google Ads campaigns and using org.au on things that the um, oh okay that nonprofit thing is applied to, but they haven't fully activated the nonprofit. And when I contact support, they say you have to call the nonprofits team. But oh the problem is, they call me at two in the morning when I'm asleep. Yeah, now they just for the last two eight weeks they've just ignored me. So requesting <sighs> support. So um, our whole Google workspace is at at risk here because we're. It, I, I need to change the primary domain to our .org.au. Yeah. Um, I'm not getting support from Google. I, I don't really know. Mm. Does anyone have the phone number for someone at Google? <laughs> <Sorry. profit? laughs> we're, we're, we're just talking today with, with the guy. It's classrooms as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the guy from um, Queensland Computers, Yeah, he made a point about that, that we can get through his contacts direct access to good people in Microsoft, Google, um, and um, Apple. Yeah. That will help. Like, desperately needed it's not it just the, the so i think i'll, put, spending, you, I'll yeah, put you on thanks. to him thanks because I've, I've spent so much time on it and i'm i'm very frustrated and yeah, yeah. that we'll lose everything <laughs> yeah well definitely definitely back up i think okay. um, fantastic thanks Gordon. yeah, yeah I'll put you on that's him. that's really good Ooh. um well yeah that that brings us to to google classroom as well so uh myself and electro had to play around with um, the domain version. So there's two two types of Google Classroom you can set up. One with a Gmail, so on the Gmail domain, or one on a on a private domain. Um, we figured out that we could get. Uh, so it's the terminology I kind of don't like because uh, it's teachers and students, but we probably can't get away from that. So we'll, we'll just have to put up with it, I suppose. Um, but it's a really clean interface and it's a really easy to use system with good APIs. 
Um, so like I said last week, what I'd really like to do is kind of resurrect the Rocket Shoes project and um, get all that data coming out to IPFS into a learning wallet and potentially uh, apply for funding for that uh, through Stacks as well. So like have the authentication with Hiro and, and, uh, or Xverse and um, kind of build that, that piece out again, because a lot of it's just sitting there, like the code's all there, it works. It's just a matter of implementing the auth again. So like removing NEM and setting up uh, Stacks instead. But with the, the two types of Google Classrooms, um, I, I'm thinking, but let me know what you guys think. I'm thinking we go with the Gmail because um, instead of a, a private domain, because we can get all of us on as students, but to add us as teachers, we need to have an at digital playhouse email address each. Huh. Um, so if this gets bigger and bigger and bigger, which we, we think it probably will. That could cost. Do we oh. though? I mean, I'm I'm a little confused by this because I think we can create a group. The problem is at the moment is that our Google nonprofits, our, our workspace has the issue with stuck on .com .au. So I'm making teachers that are, um, I, I think just. Uh, sorry to interrupt, Kieran, but I think no, go, go. I think I think the problem is our Google workspace. I, mm. it, that that's probably part of it, but it's also I even talking to to Brett yesterday. He was using oh okay, so this Google. is the. The it's teachers a, have to be in our domain. In in the domain. So like if you're in a school, so say like at, at Marana, uh, and I had had this issue because I wanted to add teachers from New Zealand to uh, Google Classrooms and we couldn't figure it out um, at all. We we're just like, well, why, why, why can they add as a student but not as a teacher sort of thing? But that's, I guess, a security thing that they set up. I don't know. So I'm thinking for longevity, we probably go with the, the Gmail um, and then... The data side of it, it doesn't, if we can build out to IPFS, it doesn't really matter, right? Because it means it's pushing out to a learning wallet that's owned by either, you know, by learners, so teachers and students, whatever. So I think that that piece, if we can build that out again properly um, with the Google APIs, then I reckon we'll be fine. Um, so but, Trace, and, Trace and Michael, just a, just a real quick intro on Rocket Shoes, Kieran. Oh, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Um, yeah, I forget everybody doesn't know what the hell that is. You touched on it last month, I'll, I'll last meeting, it out I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's listed, it's I've listed on your well. page. Yeah. So I'll, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll check so, it out. So, oh, awesome. cool, cool. Yeah, yeah. So, so for those who don't know, it was, it's a project that we started a few years ago. Um, and basically, the concept is uh, a learning wallet that talks to LMSs. So not just Google Classroom, we wanted to build out for, for everything, right? So like Moodle or Canvas or whatever it is. Um, and one that gives ownership to like the the end to students or the, the end uh, learners. Yeah. Um, so it means like instead of that data sitting on Google servers, which it still does or on Moodle servers or whatever it is, that's fine, but it replicates out to their learning wallet and that learning wallet can follow them on their learning journey. So say you go to like a primary school that's using uh, Edmodo and then you go to another primary school that's using Google Classroom and you go into a high school that's using um, Moodle and then into a university that's using Canvas. Oh. Your data is sitting on all these crazy servers all over the place and God help you trying to get any of it back. Like it's, it's just gone, right? So the, the concept is this wallet follows you on the learning journey across um, all of these systems and just brings all your data into it without you having to sort of, you know, go around trying to find it. Um, and what, yeah, really cool. And the, mm -hmm. and with that, um, we're using a technology called IPFS, so the interplanetary mm -hmm. file system. Yeah. And basically what that is, um, and you guys have probably seen it, there's a, there was a coin that they attached to it called Filecoin, file which I was kind of just like, oh, really? What? <laughs> Couldn't you like implemented like lightning or something on there but whatever maybe, maybe they could do like stacks with it at some point um but basically ipfs sits on a distributed network and you have uh, like a series of nodes across the network and on our roadmap we were looking at a number of things so a pinning service potentially um which i really like i think an edu pinning service would be cool so pinning is basically here's your data to keep the heartbeat of that data going um, you know, you, you can pay these servers to actually maintain it. Um, but the really cool thing is it means you can 
um, break up the data or it's called sharding where basically it sits across the network and then assembles back. So kind of like torrents, Mm -hmm. um, but it means like you can have say a video file that you created and literally you can have your peers hosting that file. So it doesn't have to be sitting with YouTube or, you know, these, these legacy central uh, platforms. So, but we wanted to use that specifically for, for education and for student content. So yep. if we it's, can... only, it's only safe once as well. Okay. Yeah. Wow. So, so awesome. you can you can copy a photo and save it on multiple Google servers over and over and over again. But on IPFS, it only recognizes it once. Mm -hmm. And it's got a hash on that photo and it goes, okay, we've got that. That's it. That's the person who owns it. And only they can give the permissions to really access it then. Okay. That's wow. right. Yeah, yeah well, that's a really good point, Gordon. And it's the other really cool thing it does is uh, addressing. So everything has a unique identifier. So, you know, at the moment you go on the internet and you'll go to a website and it's got like a 404 error mm. um, because it's just not there anymore and not pointing to the right thing. That can't happen on IPFS. So it's it's fixing a lot of the, the issues that we have with the web and uh, the internet in general um at at the sort of base layer so like or down to the atomic layer as they say so it means like the the data that you have so say it's even just a document or this video that we're doing now that would have a unique identifier and then the network all sees that and you can actually pin it all over the place like like through the network and and replicate it i think um netflix actually uses like some of the tech from ipfs to, oh, wow. to cache and then and push it out so if you go if you're on Optus in Australia, you get like free, um, free Netflix on your phone. So it's like, it's like it doesn't um, count towards your data limit. They do that. They can do that because they, they host a bunch of it using this a similar sort of tech. Mm -hmm. Shout the, the video to it. So it's pretty wow. cool. Yeah, yeah. It's really um, changing things. I think. But um, yeah, if we can utilize that for, for this project, I think it'll be pretty awesome. So I spoke, reached out to Matt, Todd on the, the idea. He's in Europe, so it's probably going to be a bit hard. That's my co-founder for Rocket Shoes. Um, he's in Europe, so we'll have to find a time to to catch up the with the time zone sort of meeting up. But um, yeah, he sounds like he's on board, so that should be cool. Um, all right, so we had classroom, uh, 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 digital playhouse website. Did you want to update us on that? <laughs> Electra, I know we've done a fair <laughs> bit of work on that. <laughs> yeah, look, we kind of have to start again, but we're continuing on Wix for the time being. We've got .org.au on the website. We migrated the website, just the issues are with Google. Um, and yeah, look, we've got a, um, a new site map. We just have to put in a couple of weekends to to sort of re move things around. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. and, and you've, you're created, you've created this news page, which looks nice to start with, but what, what's that on and how do we access it and update it? Um, so and I, is it I have, for the website? I haven't really finished anything. I just got the, I was literally messing around with DNS stuff with Wix for hours. <laughs> just yeah. trying to it. it was such a nightmare. I'm like, well, I killed the website about five times, I think, like <laughs> nearly losing my mind. Yeah. Um, but I've got, I've figured out how to do the subdomains for the news and for um, our, 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 the what's on page. So I've got a what's on page as well. Nice. Um, there's there's nothing really there though. I've just put in like uh, content. So I'll fill that out and get it set up and then run you guys through how to update it once, once I get a bit of time. Okay. And so will that mean that we'll discontinue the actual news blog page on and run a new feed? Yeah. For the Okay, so that so once that's active, we can hide the we can can we migrate the the live the history of articles? Uh, no, nah, we we'll, we'll probably have to do that manually, but that's all right. But I, what okay. I was thinking, a lot of that stuff's good um, SEO, you know. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Is that going to be on site? Oh, that, that, that was so. That's what I wanted to run through as well. So what I'm thinking, Sigle. it's a bit of a manual process, but uh, is it Sigil or Sigil or however you pronounce it? Um, yeah. SGRLE or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I was having a look at that. There's no way to run a custom domain for that. So mm -hmm. I was thinking, um, yes, we use it, but every article or piece that we write or put up, I think we replicate on that and link to it. But I was also thinking we do Substack as well. So you have a Substack link, you have a Sigil link, 
and then you have your main news feed feeding from that so you're doing it's a bit of a process but i think it's worth doing both and can people um, connect wallet and and collect your article as an nft I think, yeah, I think you can. Like Mirror XYZ. I've got yeah, a few. Signal. I've been collecting a few of those. <laughs> nice. Yeah, actually. I've, just to I've support content it. creators that I like. You know, <laughs> it's, the new, it's the new subscription. You just support so what we like. I think um, Jill had already was doing Substack and Sigil. Oh, okay. Uh, for, for score Bitcoin, but this yeah. is for, for Digital Playhouse specifically. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I think I think it's worth doing both. Why not, really? Um but yeah, for the news feed, um, so we've got a subdomain set up for that. So it's news.digitalplayhouse.org.au and then what's on Um, And I think having those subdomains, like if you go to like, uh, I like the example of bitcoin.com. If you go to news.bitcoin.com, like that's that's the place that most people go to read. Um, yeah. Like they don't go to bitcoin.com really because there's, you know, not much. Yeah. There, yeah, it's like it's kind of the the space that people go to. So I think if we replicate something like that, but then and we put everything on there, and that's what we share through socials, and we can yeah. all access that. Like our like exactly. our community can uh, contribute and share through it because it. Yep. Exactly. And so with the with the um, existing Wix page that we've got, I'll just try and get all the stuff about the charity. I'll try and get as much as possible onto the home page and just transform that so people can go to our home page, see what we're about, and then see that news feed and a what's on feed. So it's pretty much all on the front page. Beautiful. What was that one? Got on Seagull is the right and earn BTC. Oh, can you earn Ooh. BTC on it? Okay. Yep. Cool. Nice. So I'm definitely going to start using that. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. No, that's cool. Very cool. Yeah, well, it'd be good if we could use it and like just have your own um, domain pointing to it, but they haven't got that feature. And I, like I was thinking of using Medium yeah. as well. Medium was a really cool tool, but they've like, they've depreciated that feature just like recent last like last month or so so i'm like oh okay well probably not going to use that and we'd so, rather have web three things because we want people interacting with us to learn so that's right yeah exactly right <laughs> i think and yeah you learn as you're going as well so it's definitely worth it um the last thing that i had was uh so i've, I've briefly touched on the stacks on boarding um last week and i'll share my screen so I've got this tonight at 10 o'clock, which is a bit late, but anyway. Uh, 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 uh. Can you see that okay? Yeah. Um, so we've got, this is the onboarding curriculum. So they're going to run through this sort of week by week. This is the schedule. So Adam's sort of put this together. Um, I'm hoping it's not the middle of the night every time for me, but, <laughs> but we'll soon find out, I suppose. Um, but that's kind of the nine week uh, run through. And I think it's going to be really good because they've got wow. the looks of it, like a bunch of different communities from around the world. Like yeah. the one I'm most oh, excited to connect with is the Austin group. <laughs> they're, they're running that, um the uh, the camps, so the code camp, the Clarity Code Camp, um, which I think we could probably build out something with Rocket Shoes specifically for that because they've kind of got, mm -hmm. They've got some good stuff, but it's kind of all over the place. And I think if we have a uh, really concise, like we, if we can bid out something on the school of Bitcoin that they can um, replicate with that, or even we replicate it with that, I think that would be really worthwhile. Um, and then, you know, the whole community can use it across the board sort of thing. Um, but yeah, so they're going through orientation tonight and then stacks crash course, whatever that is. I'm guessing that's just like, what is stacks? So yeah. I think we'll be okay. Um, understanding community strengths. So I think what they're, they're going to go through is like um, what I think will probably be an example to a lot of these like newcomers. So New York, I think is going to be involved and London, I think they've just started up. So they haven't done anything yet. So they'll probably use us for like our, ours is pretty big. I think in comparison to a lot of the other ones um, and then strategies for building. I think it's going to be really good because like we'll get some feedback on the kind of like where we're at and some collaboration in terms of where we can go into like for, for building out the community and i think um i'm not sure if you guys can join I'm, I'm i think adam was saying he just wanted me like to begin with but i'm going to ask if you guys can jump in as well because i'd really like to um, follow. i might i might actually ping him today and just 
Because so, I don't have access to that link. I think, yeah, he's yeah. invited you. I was yeah. going to ask that I question. Mean, you're, the, you're the lead. For, are you interested? Gordon? Oh, look, at the end of the day, Kieran, I mean, if, you, if, if you're yeah, delegating yeah. stuff out, it's probably, I mean, you know, we're, we've got to build it as fast as we can. I think we've got a bit of a different approach. Maybe everyone seems to be doing their own different approaches on how to build. Yeah. But, yeah, getting all the basics right, the foundation, I mean, we'll get a lot of funding out of this if we do this right. There's mm. going to be com There's going to be companies created out of this. I would like to attend just to understand um, more yeah. about it and be, able yeah, to communicate, and be able to communicate it to help grow our numbers. Me I'll, too. I'll, I'll ping Adam today and see if we can all join. <laughs> he, might, he might say okay. no, but so I've got 20 people that can join. Is that all right? Yeah. <laughs> um, we all want to understand it, at least the orientation. So we, we um, yeah, I think it'd we be can good. decide if, if this is something we can commit and contribute to in yeah, some way yeah. yeah exactly right exactly right so all right I'll, I'll ping him today and see what it goes yeah. um i think that was everything for me karen i wanted to set you up on google classroom as well so we can start doing the learner um provocations properly um did you i probably haven't got time today but do you want to make a time and i'll run you through how google classroom works on on your laptop sure that would be great I think that'd be good, really worthwhile. Because uh, yeah, having the the page is great, but I think doing it all through classroom specifically, and then having that as a space for uh, learners to go through, and when we can keep track of it sort of together, rather than just say, um, what do we have set up for it? it was a um, what do we actually use? I can't remember. We use something anyway, <laughs> something that we haven't checked <laughs> in a while. So I think it'd be good to have it all sort of collected in the one space. Yep. So we'll do that. I reckon that'd be good. Let me know some times that work for you <laughs> and um, we'll go work around that. <laughs> I will. I will. I've got, um, so I've got doing my no, TAE. I want you to just put those priorities first. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got, got my TAE course um, and I was meant to do, I think it was eight hours of reading, I think she said. And mm -hmm. I've got it tomorrow and I've done zero. So, <laughs> so I, should probably, I should probably do something today. I think. Yeah. Um, but that that's been really interesting, actually. Just just to finish up, so I've um, doing doing that course. Um, it's really eye opening to see, like, well, one, I guess, the bureaucracy around, um, you know, creating a course and all that sort of thing. It's like, oh, geez, this is needlessly complicated. Um, sort of going through government websites and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. But two, the the lack of content that's out there, like. It's like the, the, there's a blockchain course that you guys are rocking through, um, but that's pretty much it, right? But there's so much other material that's just not covered whatsoever. So I think it's going to be quite beneficial when I figure out sort of like how everything works and um, in, integrates and interacts with the, each other, like to, to build out courses and do one specifically for Bitcoin. But I mean, like things like, um, you know, clarity, even solidity, like there's, mm. you have a look, there's nothing there. Like there's no accredited thing for solidity in Australia. It's just like, wow, this has been around for a long time, guys. Like you would think there'd yeah. be something there. Like yeah. it's yeah, crazy. So it's, it's been, been interesting, but anyway, I'll, um, I'll leave it there. Did anyone else have any updates? Kieran, what sort of courses are you thinking of, of, of creating through like through your own infrastructure, Bitcoin specifically. So yeah, what, what I okay. want to do, yeah. Well, I mean, it's it's interesting. And I was chatting about this yesterday. It's kind of like the uh, <laughs> like that didactic approach to learning is kind of the opposite to how most people learn. I think, um, but having something accredited would be would be really cool. Yeah. I think, for, like for the for the reputation for the the project. Um, but in terms of the the days as we call it so the decentralized autonomous education system it's kind of like the inverse of anything that institutions sort of do so i'm of two minds so i think going through it i'll have more clarity in like how their their processes work and how we can actually build stuff that maybe integrates with what they're doing um but yeah i'm learning a lot so it's it's kind of worth doing anyway mm. um yeah, long long term, I th I see like the days as being like the the core of the okay. the the Bitcoin a uh, school of Bitcoin project, and that actually like helping us you know fund learner projects and everything. Like we've got a 
stacks um, pool going, um, which is yeah going strong. So we've got we've got satoshis that we can utilize for stuff. So it's, at some point, I'd like for this group, like so, on a weekly basis, one to start looking at um, little projects that we could fund. So like you know, um, to start off with, so maybe like a you know few few thousand sats or something um, to start someone off on whatever it is. Maybe it's like starting up a podcast or whatever. Um, and us having the the skills to sort of help them along with that. Mm-hmm. So it's like a kickstart to sort mm-hmm. of do that. Um, but two, like looking, I guess coming back to Google Classroom and looking at the stuff we're doing and then doing yeah. uh, like votes on on content that we're putting on there for financial literacy. So like, for example, um, do we go the, like in terms of say, take, take uh, coding infrastructure, for example, um, writing up something on clarity or solidity and then all of us like the whole faculty um kind of voting on that so little little things like that and then kind of building it out so i think it's it's gonna get uh bigger and bigger as we go but yeah that's that's kind of where my mind's at and does that make sense to everyone <laughs> or is that the yeah branding will, will your courses will your courses and <laughs> curriculums and stuff be available to external organizations to like to use for sure, uh, because okay, yeah, yeah, like well, I'm, I'm already thinking. Oh, we've got a big launch coming up with DeveNation.io, where there's mm-hmm. a educational online university element to that, and I'm thinking of just plugging into uh, what you guys are really doing something wonderful with the, in that space. So um, for us to plug into that somehow and and, and offer what just sure. just what you guys are doing and bring yeah. our people straight into those curriculums and courses. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay. So, yep. I think I think that's 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 really key and having um, more minds on it as well. So I think like having the, the the central piece being financial literacy and that means so much to so many different people um, and getting consensus over that. I think that's that's the core piece. And then from there, it's just problem based and project based learning. So that's like the 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 main bit that I want people to run through. And then it's like, what do you want to build? Let's help you build it. And I think if we can do that and do that at scale, like it doesn't have to be just Australia. It can be anyone in the world, right? Um, then, yeah, I think we win. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Absolutely. It's devenation.io. It's not available yet, but we're still... We're still building it. It's a huge project. There's a social media element that plugs, that filters people into education, which is cool. what I'm thinking where we'll just plug into to you guys instead of trying to build that infrastructure, which we, we just... It would take way too long. Yeah. You guys are, have got it spot on. So yeah, okay. Yeah, well, we've been working on it all year. <laughs> yeah, you've just got the right mix, you know. And the fact that you're Bitcoin centric but not maximalists, mm. it, it makes so much sense to to me and our our community. Yeah, it just naturally kind of plugs in so well. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Um, Karen, she's mentioning Social Enterprise World Forum in Brisbane uh, next month. Oh, Are you going cool. along to that, Karen? Um, look, I don't know. The dates are really tricky for me. But I think yeah. they have an online. They do have an online component too. Oh. From what I've been um, reading about it, and the website link up is only part of it. <laughs> um, things I've read online about it, but it's actually trying showing people who who are you know looking well needing using funding or needing funding, and it can be both using both. Um, the not-for-profit type things, and that's fine, and also business strategies. And cool. this will go. And I've been reading up on it because I thought this is a really interesting stuff and that the people they're having there at the event and that they're having a youth forum, but now the youth forum is going to be one of the days of it. It still is different now, but because it's an international forum, um, they're having one in, I got an email about it in November, online so that all countries can participate so there's all so i was looking at both from bitcoin school perspective and children's rights perspective and i thought hey we're all sharing information of anything we can see they can plug in in different ways and i thought being in brisbane might suit you <laughs> up north um in but i'm not saying i'm not going it's just juggling dates <laughs> oh yeah. i'm so i'm so glad you brought this up karen because i got an email yesterday from amber earls um, so she runs the um, social enterprise hub in um, Chisholm. Yes. On the 29th of September, <laughs> uh, 
they're doing a social enterprise world forum event in the space so they'll be linking up um oh, with them specifically fabulous. and yeah so she's asked me to be on the board uh for that so i might link you in on that if you if you're up for it karen yeah because i'm, I'm definitely interested on like i said both pieces <laughs> bitcoin school and children's rights and it's yeah. we're all looking for the same things in different yeah 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 well yeah, it's yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what it's um it's going to be i think a weekly meetup for half an hour at some mm -hmm. point um i'll speak to amber and see if i can get you involved as well and then we can find something in the space together i think that'll be cool and something interesting that um may be of interest particularly through um the digital playhouse is um, the ethics center is opening up, uh, interesting for everybody, but is opening up what starting a set of workshops for um, young people to raise their voices about things happening around them. Now, oh. I think when we're talking about digital Bitcoin and things like this, and, and even talking about the discussion today about stacks or not stacks and, you know, the questions that are arising. Yeah. But the children, the young people, and I think it's up, and I can send you a link for it, um, to have be parts of discussions about ethics involved in making decisions about lots of things could be really, really worthwhile. Mm. For sure, for sure. Yeah, shoot it through. There's, there's a few different things that I can shoot through of different things that I work about because any way that student can have a voice or have a say um, I include um, and this is really good Karen I agree to bring our conversations into into sort of broader, broader yeah, yeah. Um, audience to um, yeah to not just not just in our bubble of web3 and yeah. blockchain enthusiasts because yeah we, we are talking ethics and if there's an ethics mm. group talking about ethics in digital technology then we have a conversation yeah and and in yeah. everything that we all deal with now um things the things like leadership um and which is there a competition between the bitcoin organizations or the platform mm. things and um what what is it that's happening all the time and um who's making the decisions are there people with any knowledge or they're just people because they're power and they know the right people <laughs> or have got a lot of money or sorry I should, uh there are a lot there are a lot of there, there are a lot of good people doing wonderful, wonderful things, but there are so many different things happening in the world and yeah. how often are young people taken seriously and their views respected and valued? Yeah, mm. yeah, 100%. Um, I was talking, talking, sorry. Yeah, they were talking about this, uh, the whole tech issue in the schools in that the meeting I was before here and it, and it, and it was about, well, really they're not asking the students so they've got the basically you've got say a passionate teacher that's wants to do some tech thing and then they get all excited they go to a course and then they go to the head and the head goes no yeah um and and these various parts but if the students were leading if they went back and asked the students i mean the tech game's their game mm -hmm. they know a lot more than the the 40 50 year old teacher yeah the principal if they were, if they were getting some student voice going they'd get way more buy-in They'd be buying the right equipment. They'd be doing the right thing. So it's really important mm -hmm. that student voice. So yeah, and so for students to lead the learning, then you know they're going to be fully engaged in it because mm -hmm. they. Mm -hmm. And if they yeah, learn, perfect. Yeah, and I think I've said before something like um, about a parking lot. <laughs> um, if you have a, a you know a whiteboard, whether it's digital or not, somewhere in your room, <laughs> and say, "What are you wondering about? Or what do you really want to learn more about? Or what do you want to explore?" <laughs> and um, Put it up there and we're calling it a parking lot because we're um we can't do it today or next week because of blah 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 but let's put it in the parking lot and as soon as we can we'll take it out and say yep this is what we're doing mm. so there's That's lots right. of strategies that we, we could do that on on a, on a google classroom karen yeah that'd be cool and, mm. and by the things that come up and how many things may be repeated <laughs> um will be really interesting to see well, this is what the kids are wondering about. And and they've got access to a lot more of the world outside of school than their teachers have who have been in schools all their lives. And not, that's not a criticism. That's just a reality factor that, you know, what's happening. Yeah. That's great, Karen. Thank you for yeah. that. Just having a look at, uh, hang on.
Uh, 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 uh. Know a few people going to that forum. It's a we're we're not really near Brisbane, Karen. We're um kind of a day's a day trip. Yeah, I thought you were, but I just <laughs> thought we closer than Melbourne <laughs> and Melbourne um to get flights just What's before the reason? grand final to come back to Melbourne, they probably cost the earth. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I may be down in Melbourne in a couple of weeks. I may uh, I'm just oh, waiting awesome. for something to be confirmed, <laughs> an event on 31st of August. So right. if they get confirmed, cool. I'll might see ya. <laughs> yeah, I was just just looking up uh, our uh, wallet for um for our stacking pool. We have uh four hundred and seventy eight thousand sats so far. Oh, <laughs> nice! <laughs> That's pretty good. That's so great. Think, uh, if we if we leave that going, we can allocate and then start voting on uh maybe a, maybe I think in one of your the homeschool is uh, at the digital playhouse. If they have some ideas, they want to put an application in for, and then we can. Build something out. I reckon that'd be really cool. Um, yeah, I think that that's that's really awesome, Karen. I think we should definitely pursue the um, social enterprise world forum. Um, and I'll I'll loop you in on that. I just got an email from Jill as well. So she's still sick. Uh, she's had COVID for a number of weeks. Um, so she's going to try and jump in this morning, but she's still too sick. So she said next week, hopefully she'll be back to normal. So yeah, hopefully uh, hopefully she feels better soon. Um, Cool. All right, we might leave it there then, guys. So and- I'm I'm flying to Adelaide tomorrow, and uh, oh, cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna drop into the innovation. There's a there's a core Bitcoin group down there at the Innovation Center. They Wait. pretty much um, were with Binance through Caleb and Travel by Bit. So I'm gonna drop in and see them. Hopefully, I can get to catch up with them and talk a little bit about stacks to those guys. Awesome. Oh, that'll be great. That'll be great. I wonder if um, it's I wonder if it's worth going to the the alpha space that we have got we're setting up i'll speak to chris it might be while you're there okay um, I, think, I think it's a little bit out though that's the only thing so it's not like in in the city sort of thing so i'll, I'll find out I'll I'm, I'm there for two days so okay <laughs> but yeah I'll, I'll be up for anything <laughs> very cool very cool there's a, there's a new um emerging leaders program um, just opening for students between 13 and 18 and it's the Menzies Foundation partnering oh. with the Ethics Centre and um, the and AIM which is an Indigenous mentoring program oh. and applications yeah. are invited just started this week and um, they only take very few students but there's lots of opportunities for students to apply and maybe get into other things and I'll send you a link for that too. Yeah please. Aaron are you going to post that link in, into here now so we've got access to it as well um i just don't know if i can get in before we get it all closed because i've got lots of different things open and it's happening at the moment maybe, maybe just just email it to me karen and i'll, I'll push it out to everyone because okay. i'm conscious oh. of time so um if i can get up i will but otherwise i'll send it to, to kieran straight after and i've got another meeting Ooh. coming up too so i'm sorry yeah, right. actually uh, michael and, and trace are you guys on the email list for school of bitcoin in the Google group, did I put you on there? Yeah, I, th- I think I think you have. All, all of our emails now go through uh, devnation at gmail. Yep. Com. Okay. Um, I'm sure so I did. I'm, we're getting all the links, so okay. Cool. Yeah. Cool. All right, I'll I'll push that out then. Lovely. Cool. All right, well, th- thanks for joining everyone. This is this is great. I think we're really making some traction. Um, and yeah, we'll uh, meet up next week, and hopefully you guys can meet Brett next week if you can join because I think. You'll you'll dig in for sure. <laughs> yeah, Karen. Um, it might be with Brett being in Melbourne and he's an NFT and artist. Cameron Menzies is obviously a, a big in the art scene and a very nice guy. Um, somewhere down the track with your students and something to do with Brett, they may be able to do an NFT like yeah. as part of us. Um, yeah, one of the blockchain things that that it seems to be done with the NFT communities is partnering with some galleries to do you know, some projects around NFTs that may be something that, that you could look at with your students and the likes. Yeah, that's a good that's idea. Wonderful. Mm. Definitely a good idea. Um, all right, I'll, I'll ping Adam as well and see if you guys can join for tonight. I'll, I'll keep you posted. So cool. <laughs> Thank you, Ben. <Beth. laughs> all right, see you guys. Thanks, guys. Bye. Thanks, Bye. Bye.